come on. Toggle it on. Do the internet. Toggle it on. Do it. Yo! Yes, dude. That's insane. I've seen these heart rate overlays in different streams and YouTube videos that show your heart rate while you're gaming. Wow, people can see when I'm about to wet my pants as I throw a 1v4 clutch. I'm never using one of those. But then I thought, what if my heart rate could actually act as a controller? Or better yet, what if my heart rate could trigger something that helps me when I'm about to throw a 1v4 clutch and wet my pants? What if I could program something that actually gives me an advantage over the other players who aren't using it? Could this be something that's oddly exploitable? Welcome to Oddly Exploitable, where we game just outside the rules. Be careful or your input might become an input. I'm your host, Tiny Snorkels. Look, when I was in kindergarten, I was the second fastest kid in the school. Everybody knew it too. You know how? I raced the fastest kid in school and got second. Makes sense, right? Which is cool and all, but you and me, see, we know if you ain't first, you're trash, trash, kid. If I throw a 1v5 clutch on the last guy, I would rather it have just never happened. But see, I'm a sweater. If it does happen, I don't just rage like a bunch of Fortniters. I analyze why so I can big brain win the next time. Why was my hand shaking? Why did I think he was there when he wasn't? According to science, real science alert, real science alert. When you're in an intense situation in a game, your body releases adrenaline and cortisol, which allows you to fight more effectively, like actual fight, like real life fighting. It's a natural instinct for human survival. It distracts from pain. It increases increases difficulty to focus, it causes shakiness, and increases heart rate. Now some of those things are gonna make you worse at video games. What if we use the elevated heart rate to do something in game, like auto pop meds, or lower your sensitivity slightly? Could we give ourselves an odd advantage, or would it just be useless? Well in order to test that, we've gotta build it. To build the heartbeat controller, the first and most important question was, you think it would still detect my heartbeat if I strapped it to my forehead? <laughs> and the answer was yes. Yes, it did. The sensor connects to Windows via Bluetooth and the information is then sent to Python. I'll have one sensor on my chest for the overlay. Putting it on down here so you can't see my nipples. That way we can see my heart rate on screen and a second sensor on my forehead for Python to read. This cannot be good for my brain. Now I just need to create a code all by myself that reads my heart rate and activates a script which we'll write later when my heart rate pulse goes over a certain number. This is me writing a script. Definitely not just downloading it from some guy who made it for me on Fiverr. Uh... Nice, I just wrote that. I just wrote that myself. You're not that guy, pal, trust me. You're not that guy. Even though my brain has its own gravitational pull, the code didn't work. Okay, it doesn't work. The code doesn't work, so... Invalid syntax. What? What does that mean? Just spent like five hours with some dude off Fiverr. He was connected to my computer, he did a lot of stuff, and then left and has not said anything. So I think that means he gave up. Punishment number one. While Monkey figures out how to code in Python, we need to determine what my heart rate is when adrenaline is released in my body, which means ranked. Adrenaline ranked. Some quick tests showed that I am cracked out of my mind. Rip, my bad. And also that my intense gameplay heart rate is between about 120 and 140. Hey, that's some heart rate, baby. An intense situation is about over 100. I haven't been in like a like an end game, like big time adrenaline, but I imagine that's over 120. To really get my heart rate going, I needed more immersion. Intense. <laughs> Hardcore Minecraft. Put your head in. Yeah, no, this ain't doing it. We're gonna go with 125 to 140. So the next step was creating the scripts that will be activated by the Python program once it works. So I wanted to just pay someone to do it, but then that didn't work, and so I actually had to learn a lot. So that's why this video took so long, I'm sorry. <laughs> Installing packages. No beans, no beans. It's working, and so no beans. Two hours later. It didn't work. Four hours later. This whole can has like 700 calories. 700 calories of beans. So when that's done, if it ever gets done, what script are we actually gonna make it activate? The possibilities for what we can trigger in game with my heart rate is pretty endless. So I might do a follow-up video, but for now I chose these things. The first script will slightly lower my sensitivity when my heart rate goes up, which in theory creates a larger margin of error specifically when there's adrenaline in my veins. So when my heart rate goes up, my DPI is gonna shift from 400 to 250 and it's gonna toggle it like that. This this should help remedy any sort of shakiness that the adrenaline will cause. The second script will auto-activate my tactical ability in-game. When I lose intense situations, 
No! I tend to think back and remember, I forgot to use my ability. And now I think maybe part of that was because I had adrenaline causing a lack of focus. So this script would remedy the need to remember to use my tactical ability. Comment if you have an idea. If it gets enough likes, I'll do it. Oh, okay, hold on. I think I can actually write this one myself. So it'll take L, wait. L. As always, I wrote the scripts and they worked first try. Um, error. Er error immediately, okay. It didn't, um, it's gonna be a little harder. I thought it was gonna be easier to be a little harder, man. I thought it would be pretty simple to write a script that shifts my DPI slightly. Boy, was I dumb. Oh yeah, wow. That's significantly more complex than I thought it would have to be. I was very naive to think that I would be able to write it myself. I had a working program that could toggle the mouse speed in Windows, but then quickly discovered that games ignore that setting completely and use raw mouse input. If my heart rate goes over a certain rate, uh, the Python program will do this, which should then, it didn't work. I am in distress. I am in deep distress. Luckily after some time, Beans. I ripped off someone else's script and finally it worked. Sensitivity is what it is and then I should be able to press F12 and it will lower it. <gasps> Did it work? Oh, it toggles. Okay, fast, press it. Toggle slow. Now all I have to do is adjust it because that was a pretty significant change. So just like, I hope that doesn't take 10 years. Luckily, the creator of the script knew it would be used by apes. This is me attempting to edit someone else's code. Oh, user configurable section. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, I'm the user. I want to configure it. And even my dented brain was able to change the sensitivity. So we're in fast mode. Fast mode moves us from the edge of the entrance back here. Slow mode only gets us to there. So I'll be in fast mode, like here. Heart rate goes up, getting nervous, about to poop my pants, and then boom, slow mode. Yes, that's what we need. But we need the Python program to activate the script instead of my finger. As soon as the monkey figures it out, geez. The second script was actually much simpler. It presses the tactical ability key once every few seconds if the Python program detects my heart rate is too high. If my heart rate reads a certain level, it will press key every few seconds. Hey, brain. And so basically the way this should work, my heart rate goes up and then presses L, which will then hit the tactical ability, pog, and then it should continue hitting it. So we gotta wait 20 seconds. And then it should hit it again automatically as long as my heart rate is at the highest. Come on, come on then. Good. Good. Is it on? <laughs> okay, pog. First time. All that was left to do was code the actual Python program that toggles these scripts when my heart rate gets above 120. It is now many days later from everything else in the video that you've seen up until this point. And I'm ticked. I'm ticked. I'm ticked. I'm ticked. Been torturing myself, eating beans, very high calorie beans, every single time the code doesn't work. Um, coding long time. Coding long time, didn't work. I'm tired of eating beans. Funny YouTuber guy eats beans. <laughs> Quit asking me to eat beans. Quit asking me to use the eye tracker. I'm not gonna use eye tracker. Your reticle is always at the center of the screen. You can't just look over there and have the reticle. Look at the, yeah. And it turns out I didn't have to be trying to read the Bluetooth data from the serial COM port directly the whole time, which is pretty difficult right now. This is the problem that I've been facing. I could have just the whole time uh, gone with the widget that you see on screen. See the widget? I could just use that data. Unfortunately, every time I needed to test the code, I had to get my heart rate up. Heart rate go up. <sighs> I should press L. <laughs> okay, my heart rate's going up just thinking about it. I set it to 100. My heart rate goes over 100. We should jump in Minecraft. Oh, it's gonna get there. Did it do it? Please work. I'm tired of doing this. <laughs> it was. Press it again when my heart rate goes under 100. I must go zen mode. <laughs> yes! Yo, dude! Boys and girls of the internet, a monkey has made something. Now the final test, the Python program plus the in-game scripts. I see you out there. You're doing your squats. Let's go. Yo! Yes! It is working! Yes, dude. That, that's insane. It's working, dude. Let's get into a game. And so it was time to literally use my heartbeat as a controller.
Without a doubt, this was one of the most unique gaming experiences I've ever had. This video took much longer than it should have, but it was worth it. So I got a code running, right? And my heart rate will automatically activate my tactical ability if it goes over 120. No way. I had a device listening to my vitals and reacting accordingly in game. Oh, it worked! It worked! Which is nuts. This got me thinking so hard. Could I train my body to keep my heart rate low by gently tasing myself if my heart rate goes too high? All right! What about auto metting if my heart rate goes too high? I'm really interested in hearing your ideas and testing them out in a follow-up video. That being said, here's how the tests went. All right, this is program number two. If my heart rate goes above 120, it will automatically spam my tactical ability regularly, negating my need to remember to do that, which should, in theory, allow me to focus more of my brain on other things. Oh, we're dead. We're dead. We're dead. None of us have guns. I'm gonna punch him if he gets you, bro. Get out of here! Ah! Okay, well, it's gonna press it in a moment because I just flexed. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Keep it low, Zen. Deep breaths. Kept it below 120, baby. I freaked out, I started yelling. I don't know what I'm doing. Ah! So up until this point, I've just been too cold as ice to actually activate it. Let's do this, boys. <laughs> You got like nine million of them, brother. You ever play video games with your heart rate? No way. I got a code running, right? And my heart rate will automatically activate my tactical ability if it goes over 120. No way. Yeah, for real. I, I, I get no to, way. It took me forever, but it's working. That is very cool. Yeah, it's pretty It's pretty nuts. It's, I'm pretty excited. It's my first time using it. Do you think it should count as cheating? Yeah, definitely, bro. <laughs> you know, when you panic, you forget what buttons to press. Yeah. Exactly, that's what I'm trying to remedy. You get all the adrenaline flowing, and then you forget what button to press. Oh, Does your heart beat up? Your heart beat up. Just get your heart beat up. Oh, it worked! It worked! Oh, dude, it's definitely working. Dude, that was sick. It just worked. Let's go, uh, this squad up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, you sound like Dr. Disrespect, bro. Oh, well, I'm definitely hey, not. Nah, bro, I think you're him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, chill, chill. Bro, you were cheating that whole time. Does it count? It yeah. counts as cheating? Yeah, bro. Program number two definitely negated the need for me to remember to use my tactical ability, and it was extremely effective in this. It allowed me to focus more on movement and aim and not dedicate any thought to my in-game abilities. At the same time, it didn't allow me to time my tactical ability, and in some cases, the animation would happen when I was trying to shoot at an enemy and it would negatively affect the gun battles. All in all, as a mid-tier player, I'm cracked, don't, don't, I'm cracked. I felt like this definitely gave me an advantage. But if you're already in the top 1%, if you're professional, I can't help but think that not being able to time your tactical ability would simply hinder you. Hey, do you guys think it's cheating if I'm running a program that automatically lowers my DPI by 100 if my heart rate goes over 120? No. Uh, it doesn't sound like cheating. Instead of you having to realize your heart rate's up and then lowering it yourself, you just have it automatically set. Yeah. Program number one slowed my sensitivity just enough to help smooth any shakiness I might have. And it did help me be more precise. Now, without 500 hours of testing, I can't really determine how much of an impact it would have on muscle memory. In the moment, I couldn't feel the difference between 250 DPI and 400. Sometimes I felt like it did help me be slightly more precise, but I think that might have been a placebo effect. All right, my DPI is lowered. It lowered my sensitivity, but when it lowers it 100 dpi, you kind of don't feel it. But I feel like it, if, if you don't feel it, it kind of has to give you an advantage. My only thought was that it was going to tamper with my muscle memory, and it did not tamper with my muscle memory. Like, I felt pretty natural there, so I think that means it probably is going to be only an advantage. But in the moment that it actually mattered, clutching a 1v3... I can't say for certain. Oh, I just win!
left. My heart rate, I dude. I don't know, dude. My heart rate is high. My heart rate is high. I can't tell if I just whiffed because I whiffed or if it lowered my DPI and made me miss, right? Like I made the micro adjustments with my hand over here and it was just too slow. That one might be a bust. It might be a bust on, on the sensitivity. I don't know. That's tough, but very interesting. That is, that is epic. That is epic that it works. Dude, the possibilities are endless. I absolutely have to do more videos on this. Follow up video coming. So what do you think? Is using your heart rate as an input for gaming oddly exploitable? Vote on the poll that's live now on my community tab. The results from last week show that Basically, I might just be hacking. If you have an idea for something that might be oddly exploitable, comment it and I might build it. I'm also reading all the comments right now. So, very nice comment, thanks. Just passing through.